Hey guys, it's Ben again with Coyote Outdoors. Um, I was in Harbor Freight today getting uh, getting some new pliers. They're new Doyle brand. They're really good. But anyways, while I was there, I was walking around the aisleways and I found a couple of interesting things here really cheap. I found a 8 inch hunting survival knife for only $9.99. Come on, Alice. Cats. And I found a machete, 18 inch serrated machete, Garden brand. Yeah, Garden or Gordon, I don't know. But it's uh, for $5.99. And I asked myself, I said, how good could a $5.99 machete and a $9.99 survival knife be? Now, mind you, I used my 20% off coupon on this, so I think it was $8.79. Um, I figured I'd give you guys my first impressions on them. Go ahead and open them up, take a look at them, and then I will take them outside and we'll go ahead and try to use them and just see how good they actually are. I mean, for, like I said, $9.99 for a knife and $5.99 for a machete, where can you really go wrong with that? So let's go ahead and get into these. I'll give you my first impressions on them. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and open up this machete, because that's gonna be easy. It's just a cardboard sleeve on here, it looks like. Yep, just a cardboard sleeve. Nothing too fancy there. Um, so let's see. Call this as an 18 inch serrated machete, 18 inch polished steel blade, contoured TPR, non-slip comfort grip, with a nylon sheath. Um, let's see, go ahead and get this open here, I got a piece of cardboard in there, and we got some plastic with a little bit of oil on the blade to keep it from rusting. Um, I guess first things first, the nylon sheath, it's, uh, it's cheap, I mean it's a $5.99 machete, I guess what do you expect? That'll probably wear out the second or third time you use it. Um, first impressions on the machete though is that is a really nice handle on there. I mean, I, I really, really can't say anything bad about that handle. It's got the finger grooves in it. It's got a nice tail here to keep your hand from slipping off. It's got a lanyard hole. Um, it's got some good, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It'll probably be a decent chopper. The, uh, Blade on here leaves a lot to be desired. That's not uh, that's not very sharp at all. I mean, it'd probably do decent out of the box, but I'll definitely probably run a stone on that to give it a little bit, get a little sharper. But on the flip side, them serrations are razor sharp on the back. Wish they, wish they spent more time sharpening the blade and not the serrations. But the serrations do not have an offset. So I'm sure they, they'll probably end up cutting really well, but without an offset, they'll hang up a lot. But overall, first impressions on the machete for $5.99, I'm pretty impressed. Um, years ago, I think I spent about $8.99 on a machete, and it was either Dick's or Dunham's. And it had like a hollow plastic handle. And But you know, I still have that machete, actually. The sheath was the same way. It was a cheap sheath that wore out really quick. I ain't making my own sheath for it. Wow, them serrations are sharp. I'm going to stop rolling that in my hand now. Them are sharp. But uh, but for $5.99, that, that feels real good. I have a big hand, and that, that fits my hand really nicely. Um, so, yeah, we'll take this outside. I got a couple other machetes that I'll compare it against. I actually got some really good name brand machetes that I've got a lot of use out of and I really like. And I'll compare this one to that one. But overall, first impressions for $5.99, I, I think that's a really good buy. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, stick this back in its sheath. And that is only because those serrations are ridiculously sharp. I wouldn't worry about... Uh, Cutting yourself on the blade, though. A nice little sheath, I guess. It's got a belt loop on it. Nothing too fancy. But uh, let's go ahead and open up the survival knife, and we'll see how uh, how that one looks. All right, so let's go ahead and get the uh, 
survival slash hunting knife open. Um, the, uh, it says it's got a lightweight aluminum handle, precision sharpened 8 inch steel blade, and it also includes a sewing kit, safety pin, buttons, fishing line with hook, matches with flint paper, compass, and a carrying sheath. Um, again, this was at Harbor Freight. This is a uh, whole whopping, it's a $9.99. And uh, let's go ahead and get this open here. And we'll take a look at it. same thing on this you've got a, a nylon sheath it's a uh, it's a little better than the machete it feels like it's got a, a plastic liner in it so that should help a little bit with the durability it's got a belt loop nicer than that one it's functional um, the knife itself you know I I'm not a big fan of rounded grips on a knife because it's it's hard to index them it's hard to you know, know which way your blade is pointing just by the feel of the handle, but that's that's that that's a minor point. Um, again, the blade on this just is 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 just not even remotely sharp. So much for their uh, precision sharpened blade. Um, the serrations on the back, again, that's kind of a funky design. I'll try to get that get that in there but it's like a like a square tooth design I don't know I've never had a knife with that design we'll we'll find out how those work uh, when we go outside here and put them to the test um, overall the blade is solid in the handle it's got a little cheap nylon cord that's you know that's that's, that's what it is I guess it's got some holes in the uh, grip guard there. Not sure what the purpose of those are, but uh, let's open up the back here, just on threads. It uh, it does have an O-ring on there, so I guess it would be watertight. Oh, and there it is, and the there's a button compass set into the pommel here, and. Let's see, I know that way is east, so let's see how close to accurate this is. Well, east. East. Wow, it actually works. A lot of times these cheap little button compasses that you get, uh, they don't usually work. Um... That's going to be fun to get out of there. I don't know if I got it. Inside the pommel here, got a little plastic bag. I'm actually going to take a look. Of course, my only flashlight I have at my desk is dead. Let's take a look down inside here and see what this, how this is held. Alright, so this blade is held in with a set screw on the side actually it's not a set screw, it's a roll pin it's got a roll pin on the side here and it's got epoxy in the bottom of the handle so I don't really like that because there's no way to tighten the blade up if it comes loose um, years and years ago this is, I mean if you grew up in the 80's or 90's you know this is a Rambo knife I think everybody knows this is a Rambo knife um, I had one similar to this and I don't remember how much I paid for it. We're talking a lot of years ago. But the blade was held in by a stud with a lock nut. And if the blade started to come loose, which it seemed to every camping trip I took it on, I could just stick a socket down in there, give it a half a turn, and the blade was back to being tight again. I liked that. Um, I ended up on that old one just lock tightening it, and that lasted a long time in between tightenings after that. But, uh... Let's see what we get here in our little Ziploc baggie. That is 
probably there to help get the stuff out because it's definitely not waterproof. All right, there's our uh, little fishing kit. We got one hook with what looks to be maybe 20 feet of line, not much. Um, and we'll try some of this stuff out later when we go outside because I'm curious to know how well these, you know, let's just try one right now. Curious to know how well these cheap matches work. Well, that was, uh, that was surprising. I, I've got these, they're almost this exact same little kit and other knives and survival kits and stuff in the past. And, uh, these matches never seem to want to work, so I'm actually pretty surprised that it just did. And then in this little baggie here, we've got we have one safety pin, two buttons, and four different colors, thread, and one needle. For the most part, it's not a bad kit. Again, we're talking about a $9.99 knife here. The only thing I would do differently is I would get rid of the matches, and I would put a little ferrule rod in here. I mean, because you already got a knife, so you don't need a scraper. I'd put a little ferrule rod in here. I would maybe include... Uh, two or three more hooks because you know one hook if you got one you got none so and I would probably add in instead of having three different color cords maybe have one color of cord or string and then give me a little bit of snare wire and the one I had of these years ago Believe it or not, actually came with a wire saw in here. I don't know if you've ever used a wire saw, but some of them are actually pretty good. And around the pummel, it had two key rings. And you took the key rings off, thread them onto the wire saw, and that's how that one worked. And I think that's a great idea. This And there's, there's a ton of room in that pummel, man. There's a ton of room in there. Like, I mean, it, with the baggie in there, I mean, it goes up to my first knuckle. And that's got the whole... Wow, yeah, I, I may, if this knife ends up testing out really nice, and I, I end up liking it, because, I mean, I'm going to have to sharpen the blade before I do anything with it, but I may try to put a survival kit, my own survival kit in here, because there's actually a surprising amount of room in there. Um, that's a cast aluminum pommel with uh, machine threads on it, so that might actually hold up, um, if I can get it to thread back in there. Because the casting on this aluminum, this is all cast aluminum, and it's 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 rough. There's not a whole lot of refinement to it, but again, what do you expect for $9.99? Does seal on there nice, and that O-ring does squish, so that probably is watertight. And uh, we'll we'll test that too. Why not? But first impressions, I think this is a lot better deal than the machete right now for $9.99. We'll find out tomorrow. I may I may change my mind tomorrow. Because uh, if this blade ends up coming loose, that'll be that'll be done for me. This I, I, I'll say this is trash. But uh, if the blade stays solid on this, and this can I can baton a piece of wood with it pretty easily without damaging it, and I, I may end up putting this in one of my trucks as a truck knife once I get it sharp. Um, like I said, we'll take these both outside and we'll give them both a test. I have a few more machetes that I'll put up against this one. And I have a couple of other similar knives, um, higher end ones that like maybe my K bar. I'll bring my K bar out and show you the difference between this and a K bar because at this point I could care about care less about the little survival uh, kit in here. I'd much rather have a good knife than a than a, than a little junky survival kit that's in here. But let's take this stuff outside and we'll give it a try, and then I'll give you my final impressions on it. All right, guys, we're out here in the woods now, and I brought these out here to get a little bit of a better review on them. What we have here are two almost identical trees, and uh, I don't think I'll chop both. We'll see. But we're going to test these out. Here I have the uh, our 599 Harbor Freight Machete that we got. And then as kind of my control, here we've got a cold steel machete. I have filled this for about 10 years. This has been my go-to for a machete for about 10 years. I love this thing. It holds a good edge, and it's got some weight to it. It swings real nice. So uh, 
that's going to be our other control. And then for our knives, we've got our 999 survival knife, Rambo survival knife here. And we've got our good old fashioned USMC American made K bar. Made uh, right here in the United States, in New York. And uh, again, another knife I've owned for about 10 years. I can do everything from split wood with this to um, scale a fish to process a deer or anything I want. Uh, really good knife. This is always in my truck. It goes with me everywhere I go camping. But uh, let's go ahead and give a couple of these a try and uh, we'll see how they work, all right? All right, so the first one we're gonna do, we're gonna try the Harbor Freight one here, um, just to see how it swings and everything. So let's give her a few good swings. Because I damaged my K-bar here on the swing. All right, wow, that, that sank pretty deep into that tree this being what looks to be poplar or something, that's, that's pretty good. That went about halfway through. I'm pretty impressed with that for... That went down near halfway through that tree. I'm pretty impressed with that for a, uh, for a Harbor Freight machete here. Now I went and got it stuck. There we go. Pretty impressive for a Harbor Freight machete there, I think. That was all of, what, 10, 15 seconds, maybe a little longer than that, but certainly wasn't more than 10 chops to go right through that tree. That's, I like that a lot. That's pretty good for $5.99. Let's give, uh, let's give the serrations here on the back a little bit of a try. Yeah, like I said, these, before, these teeth aren't, aren't offset, so they, they like to bind up. But if you're going to do a smaller limb, that would be fine. I mean, just in a couple strokes, I went all the way through. I went halfway through this one. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. This one may end up in one of my kits or one of my vehicles for camping. That is pretty nice right there. All right. So this has more than met all my expectations. And just for a control, let's go ahead and give the, the cold steel a try here. Looks a little rusty, but it is sharp. Still not a comparison. That cold steel one still goes right through that. A little better. A little better than the Harbor Freight one, but that's the difference between a, a uh, $30 machete and a $10 machete, I guess. Or a $5.99 machete. So, uh, but yeah. We'll go back inside and I'll give you my final thoughts on the machetes here on this. I'm chopping down a tree, it did great. Um, so I'm sure for like clearing brush and stuff, which is what I use my machetes for most of the time, I think it'll do equally well. Let's go ahead and move on. And You know, I take that back, look at that. That picked up a little bit of a bend there. That's all right, it'll... There we go, it's straight again. I like machetes, some people don't. I think they work. All right, so next we're going to take a look at a couple of uh, these survival knives now. And uh, got our survival knife and our K-bar. I know what I can and can't do with this. But let's find out what we can and can't do with this. Um, like I said, the edge is not that impressive. 
I mean, it is sharp enough to shave bark. You know, but then again, so is my K-Bar. I mean, K-Bar still does a million times better. But, like I said, the K-Bar is also considerably sharper. I didn't want to sharpen this because I wanted to do it right out of the box. Um, we've got these goofy, goofy, you know, saws on the back, saw blade on the back here. But that, uh, yeah, that's that's absolutely useless. That is, that is useless. Again, maybe if you were trying to work an extra small tree or something, that might do something for you, but... Um, we're just going to put it through a few little tests here. See, that, that handle is horrible, that perfectly round handle. It is just wanting to spin around in my hand like crazy. And uh, I don't particularly like that in a knife. But let's go ahead and try something I do with my K-Bar quite often in camp. Here is a nice piece of wood here. And this is what I do to split my wood in camp. And we're going to go ahead and try to baton this into here. And see if we hurt the knife at all. That, amazingly enough, survived that pretty well. That blade is still tight. And I've broken several other knives doing that same thing. Now, this wood is, it is green. Um, I'll end up cutting this, I'll finish end up cutting this up later and it'll go in my fire wood later, but this wood is green, so it's a little softer than, let's say, if we were doing like a hard oak or something, but I mean that's that's pretty good. The only thing I gotta say I really hate about this is the uh, the handle indexing on it. It's it's so round it's hard to hold on to. But just to show you I'm not favoring it, let's go ahead and take the K bar here. And we'll go ahead and split this tree the opposite way. Again, the K bar goes through it a little easier, but it's sharper. Perfectly straight, no damage. And the K bar is a fairly good chopper, too. There, I mean, I know these tests aren't going to mean much to some people, but you know, this one's got a nice butt plate on it for striking. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's go ahead and try and strike this butt plate down. Let's go ahead and try and strike this butt plate and see what happens here. Yeah, that, that handled that pretty damn good. That, uh, again, that's, that's held up pretty well. We're going to put this through some more tests in the future in another video because I'm really curious to see how much punishment I can't put this thing through without breaking it. But, uh, it batons real nice. It's not too bad of a chopper right out of the box. And, uh, that did not bend the blade. That didn't loosen the blade or anything. So... I'm actually not too bad for $9.99. That's not a bad knife. But we're going to go ahead and put this through some more tests in another video. This video is probably going to get a little long as it is. But let's go ahead and go back inside. I'll give you my final thoughts on these. All right, so let's discuss uh, the Harbor Freight $5.99 machete and the $9.99 survival knife. Um, I took them out into the woods and I gave them a try. And just to kind of compare them, I took my K-Bar out there, which is my normal knife that I use for just about everything, camping and stuff. And I took my cold steel, my uh, cold steel machete that I've had for 10 or 12 years, just to kind of compare them. This, this was my old go-to. I really like this one. I probably spent 20, 25 bucks on it. But, and then you got your K-Bar, which I think I paid about $65 for. Um, 
about 10 years ago. So that, those are just for a comparison. Um, you know, when it comes to the machete, my overall impressions are on it, but is that uh, it's very good. I love the, the rubber grip handle that they have here on it. Um, that held up extremely well. It's not loose. It's not deformed. I mean, I didn't put it through a ton of work. I do know that just a little bit that I put it through, this will be going into one of my trucks, probably one of, probably my camping kit, um, just because it, it, it did surprise me. It really did. Um, it didn't warp. It didn't bend. It held a nice edge. And the saw on the back worked a lot better than I thought it would, too. Um, I was right, though. Since the teeth aren't staggered, it did get jammed up in the tree. If Once you got about half the width of the blade in, it, it did start to get jammed up. But it did cut. It cut very well. You can see there's a whole bunch of crap left in there. Overall, I'm pretty impressed. For $5.99, I, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Um, I, I am going to be putting this through a lot more testing, and I may do a six-month review on it coming up. Um, on the other hand, though, when it comes to the cheap little nylon sheath they give you with it, I only pulled it in out of the sheath four or five times, and the sheath is already starting to rip and come apart, just like I thought it would. These are about worthless. I'll probably end up making a Kydex one or something for it one day just to help out, be a little nicer. Kind of the same thing with the survival knife. Now, I didn't put it through a ton of tests, but I did baton it into a tree. I did chop with it. And even as dull as it is, it, it shaved pretty decently, too. Um, I beat on the back of it. I drove it into a stump out there. You've seen all that in the video. The blade is not even remotely loose. It feels real good. I've done that to some other knives, and they've the blades come loose as soon as you start whacking on the back of them. Um, it did everything my, uh, my K-Bar did. I'm going to do some further testing on this one. It's, it's made enough of an impression on me the little bit that I've been messing around with it that I do want to keep testing. I'm going to sharpen it, put a lot nicer edge on it, and I'm going to take it out camping with me. I'm going to split some firewood with it. I'm going to I'm going to do some shaving with it. I'm going to do some making some kindling with it and just see how it works in general. I only I said still my only gripe about this one and I may do a paracord wrap on the handle to mitigate that is that if you're trying to chop with it, this thing just spins in your hand like it, like nothing. And you, there's no way to index it. You can't feel where the blade's at. On the K-Bar, on the other hand, if you, if you can look and see, the, the handle is oval-shaped. So when I hold it, I know right where the blade's at. It indexes very well. Um, this one, I don't have that. I got the nice Kydex sheath for this one. And I'll probably make a sheath for this one, and I'll probably make a sheath for the machete. Um, even though the sheath on this one does seem to be holding up a lot better than the machetes did, that's that's what I'll probably end up doing, just because it's, it's cheap and it's easy, and I have all the stuff to make Kydex um, sheaths and stuff. And since this held up better than I thought it was, I'm actually going to put a real survival kit in the handle of this, not the uh, little dinky one that's in here now. Now, the one that's in here now is not horrible. It does come with the essentials, you know, fire and signaling. I can't even get out of there. I'm not going to fish it out of there right now. But there's enough room in this handle that I'm going to put a real survival kit in this handle. So that's kind of my final thoughts on these. For the price, $9.99 and $5.99, I would go out and buy these. Even if it's just for a backup, throw this behind the seat of your truck or in your toolbox or un, you know, under the seat of your camper just as a backup. Um, same thing with the machete. It's held, it held up. I mean, it, it chopped really, really nicely. It didn't deform, didn't bend. Actually, what surprised me is my cold steel one, if you've seen in the video, did take a bend to it. I've got it straight now, but that's the first time this machete's bent on me and all the, I mean, you can tell how much I've used this thing and all the years that I've used it. Um, but I really wailed on that tree, too. That's a lot harder than I would normally hit one. But this one didn't bend and my cold steel did. So, um... Like I said, my final thoughts are for $5.99, I don't think you can go wrong, especially for a backup. Um, as I said, these came out of Harbor Freight. Use your 20% off coupons and get them even cheaper than I did. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you have any questions for me, don't be afraid to ask. Uh, you guys have a great night. Thank you.